Hi friends, welcome to the channel of Learning by Doing. Today I'm going to talk about some more tags in the HTML5 and uh, now I'm opening my notepad and last day we are talked about the audio autoplay and audio tag regarding all the uh, attributes in the audio tag and also the video tag and uh, you're all well known about the video tag through the my lost video but we do have another uh, uh, feature uh, in this that is the embedded uh, I mean embed just as a video itself we have another feature which was uh, introduced in uh, HTML5 that is uh, through the source oh my god I just um, um, uh, deleted that over all the right I'll just put the control Z. yes I want this source actually because I need to copy it again and again so I'm just um, I just copied it and I'm going to paste it here uh, you're all thinking that uh, why she is uh, copying and pasting and all all over there because I hate putting the comments right I didn't set to you the comment how to put the comment in the HTML file right I'm going to say about it today because I doesn't like to put the comments uh, in it that was my nature there is uh, nothing to be talked about that um, uh, today I'm going to talk about embed tag right um, the embed tag is going to be start as embed in that embed we are going to be placed the source directly uh, as um, sorry uh, directly as oh I just copied the source also then no problem mm, I'm going to delete this and this is what about the embed tag uh, in that the previous tag what is the difference between this tag and the previous tag was um, in that previous tag in the video when I put the source and just leave it it doesn't play because we have to put the auto auto play ones and uh, we need to put um, uh, some uh, sorry in that video tag also that's going to be work but I doesn't put the quotation marks uh, we're gonna see both today uh, both today again that is I'm going to launch in Chrome see my tag uh, my uh, song was going to be gets played uh, okay this is nothing but the song uh, how we can do doing this embed if I want this to be get uh, shit up for some time then uh, we can uh, put this in the comments I mean uh, I hope that I didn't said you about the comment tag right that was my sorry for you because uh, that is nothing but as usual uh, I'll just put the comment for you this um, there is nothing but uh, it will start with the exclamatory mark with uh, two uh, lines uh, and it's going to be end as uh, uh, two lines in the end uh, this is nothing but the comment tag in html5 i mean not in html5 in any of the uh, html this was about the comment tag and today i'm going to introduce this comment tag for you because i doesn't uh, want to disclose about the comment tag because i i only doesn't like to put the comments that's it that's no any uh, extra thing in it um so and uh, the video tag has to be closed with slash video that was the compulsory for this and um, for uh, the embedded tag there is no need to click that and I'm going to run uh, in the Chrome see it's going to be oh, it's going to be get run but um, we'll see one second okay from this I came to know that uh, the video tag doesn't get uh, uh, played if we uh, doesn't put the autoplay option to be as true and if we put the controls autoplay to be false then only it will play but it doesn't play if we directly put it as the video has to be source like that but that feature doesn't uh, but that feature uh, uh, is the default feature in video but uh, it is useful to be used embedded uh, embed this uh, we uh, tag because uh, we can directly work on uh, uh, the video just by putting their source itself this is about the embed tag and the 
uh, video tags different and uh, now I am going to talk about some more tags in the HTML5 that is uh, you are all well known that and I, go, I too got very interest to learn these tags that is about the marquee tags. I'm going to talk about the simple marquee tag that was the marquee tag was going to be look very pretty I hope uh, I hope you do get uh, interest of doing that uh, see now I'm going to talk about marquee marquee tag and uh, for this tag the, the tag has to be having same as usual slash marquee as an end tag and as usual um, in this market tag how it's going to be work means uh, it will move from directions to directions and all this uh, if you want your heading to be displayed like in the ads also they use the marquee tag that's why they used to move from this side to this side and that side to this side and all this I want to display uh, head, head, H1 as uh, one of um, uh, text that is learning by doing I want to display my own heading here in the marquee tag in the marquee tag then how it's going to be work we'll see I do I, I really uh, enjoy while uh, coding on the marquee tag because um, I love moving the text this side to this side that side see if the text was moving like this learning by doing from right to left right this was the test in the marquee tag and um, if you want let's see it's moving from uh, uh, right to left right if you want to move it from uh, your left hand side to right hand side then how can we do that it is moving from this side to this side right but if you want to be move from this side to this side how can we do that I'm going to explain this now we need to put it as the direction to be right it is the direction from to be left right so I'm going to put the direction as right in the one of the attribute in the mark you tag as direction is equals to within the uh, quotation mark I put it as right okay guys I'm going to save this and we are going to reload it again and we are going to see how it's going to be work see it's coming from this side what it is learning by doing and I want my mark you tag to be get in the directions up up okay mm, then how it's going to be get displayed um, I'm uh, I'll just copy it control C and I'll put it again here and I'll just change the direction of everything right uh, without direction we'll put one tag and with the direction of up we'll put one thing and with the direction of down we'll put another one how it's going to be look we'll see hmm? okay guys and uh, we have uh, the direction of slide also uh, that is not the direction we'll say it as behavior uh, we will see it afterwards and I am um, going to run this see 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 here my uh, one was for uh, up uh, I mean it's moving up and one was moving down one was moving up and one was moving down and all these things that I hope you are looking forward to this one was moving up and moving down and right side and the left side everything was learning by doing learning by doing okay guys if you want your mark you tab to be slide this is also one of the attribute feature in the mark you tab that is if you want this to be as uh, uh, behavior behavior as uh, is equal to slide uh, then how it's going to be look we're gonna see this <coughs> and we have uh, the uh, behavior to be as um, uh, slide and also for this we will just change the uh, I mean uh, text because that we can uh, easily get understood what is moving and what is not and I am going to copy this and I am going to paste it here wait for some time 
and now we have seen about the behavior as slide and now I am going to paste it here and I am putting the behavior as alternative, alternative, we can put it as alternative also and this is all some of the uh, varieties of uh, uh, I mean some of the attributes which are in the mark you tag and we have many more attributes also now we are going to see these many attributes mm, I'm going to save this and I'm going to run it here launch in Chrome see it was moving from uh, right to left and left to right up and down and below this we have learn learn as a one one behavior what we are given is um, one behavior what we have given is an uh, I hope slide right uh, just it is moving as slide uh, in the slide direction and uh, and another behavior what we have given is alternative moving alternative where is the moving alternative Mm, so we'll see it uh, with each and every tag. We are all known about the before tags, right? So I'm going to uh, delete, um, or I need to put it as. Um, do you want to be this in the comments? Then we'll put these in the comments, and I want to be in comments uh, up to you. Oh, I have given two as slides, right? Uh, so that's why they are coming uh, two times um, so uh, slide also you understood right so I'm putting up to here uh, the comment section and now we are going to see the behavior as alternative that's it uh, that uh, we am going to uh, launch in the car that is the uh, moving alternative from that side to this side this is uh, nothing but uh, just similar to be as uh, moving direction of left to right and right to left and uh, we are having the another one like um, scroll amount one of the feature in the um, once again one of the feature in the uh, mark you tag itself uh, we are going to put it here as scroll amount and how many times that my uh, text has to be moved from this side to this side that is nothing but the scroll amount I need it to be 20 times okay this is about uh, one more uh, sorry I put control A I, I think I had uh, clicked control F okay this is I saved it and we are going to run again in the chrome okay see this is what uh, uh, moving scroll amount from one direction to another direction but how many times it will move means it will move for 20 times that's it and um, these are all some of the cool effects with the mark you tag uh, that you can work on with um, the mark you tag in different ways and uh, if you want to display in the any different uh, style fonts also you are having the different styles in it uh, like cursive font and index font and all these things uh, that means um, I'm gonna show you one thing here right now because uh, that is a very uh, that looks very uh, pretty when you wrote all the things in it um, in the mark you tag if you want to display something with uh, some style in it I mean like um, um, I'm going to put it as style style uh, in this style we are going to introduce something as we are having some styles in it right uh, I don't know what uh, that index and all this uh, that I have to look after everything because I doesn't uh, even worked on this style um, that has to be two times and what is the position of it also it is there and uh, we need to put the position uh, on what position and uh, absolute and all these things um, to be left uh, whatever I mean and what corners and all these things we can introduce through this um, uh, style uh, in the left 
side in this position in the position of absolute in the left side and for the left side also at what percentage I want in the 18 percent through that 18 percentage and how it has to be moved it has to be moved from um, top to um, top to bottom that in the at what um, how many times that is I want my top to be 39 percent um, and uh, what you want your uh, how you want your font uh, font to be means uh, uh, I want my font family if we are having one more here that is as a font family to be cursive writing I will put the cursive cursive uh, cursive scroll uh, here we have we are seeing right I am just putting cursive cursive is the spelling was correct right for the cursive yes I hope that was right and the font size what is the font color and all these we can put in this um, and after that if you want to put the size of the font we are having one more thing that font size also in that font size how much you want the font size I want to be at as 14 uh, and uh, how much you want uh, how in what color do you want to make it to look uh, here we have some um, I'll put it as to be red color uh, and um, if you want to put the height also we can put it is we whatever the style you want you can put the all the uh, um, constraints of you I mean all the things how you want to look I want this color that color we need something or uh, web page to be display in um, super format I mean like wow when I look at your web page everyone should say wow that was super yeah like that and I want this uh, behavior to be down or app uh, we even we can use this direction or the behavior whatever we want I want this behavior to be down and all this like this See, I was, I too was used the style font for the first time. So let me see myself also. Does my code want to work through the style font? I just learned, but I didn't use. Um, so let me see, this going to be run or not? See, learn, learn, learn. For this, it doesn't work. So we are going to change something the code here. That is, we need to put uh, in one division this one. I'm going to put one class in this, like uh, example display. Example display as uh, one of the class within it. I want to display. Just it was the name that was not uh, anything else. Um, I'm going to display this as this is an example right because the i2 doesn't know about it uh, then um, i want to use the style as uh, position relative um, i want to put the relative height and all this mm, position relative height um, as 600 pixels if it's going to be run or not uh, we are going to see now because uh, this is what I know because uh, what I know I am saying to you guys because I doesn't know more about this uh, style tag also but I am also learning uh, about this uh, style uh, style tag from uh, few days um, uh, then we are going to see I am going to close my division tag here mm as slash division and uh, I'm going to see this and we're going to run this in the chrome again see guys my text was uh, came because uh, by, by this I studied that it uh, we need to display a class for this and we need to display what style you want before itself but I hope that within the market tag itself if we given means it will work uh, but uh, that was not uh, correct and uh, in my guess because uh, we uh, from this I I learned because learning by doing right our class only so I learned by doing this uh, as we need to put the class and we need to put the style whatever style we want in that um, class 
and then we need to put in the division tag whatever the divisions in the division tag um, we need to put whatever the styles in the marquee in the marquee we can put that okay guys i hope you are all understood uh, my uh, class and if you like my video subscribe to my channel thank you